Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I'm a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on solving the HackerRank interview preparation kit problems. Today is our first problem in the dictionaries and hash tables uh, section of the preparation kit. So let's begin. Harold is a kidnapper who wrote a ransom note, but now he is worried that it'll be traced back to him through his handwriting. He found it uh, he found a magazine and he wants to know if he can cut out whole words from it and use them to make, re create a untraceable untra replica of his ransom note. The words in his note are case sensitive and he must use only whole words available in the magazine. He cannot use substrings or concatenation to create the words he needs. Given the words in the magazine and the words in the ransom note, print yes if he can replicate his ransom note uh, exactly using whole words from his magazine otherwise print no. For example, if the note is attack at dawn, the magazine only contains attack at dawn. The magazine has all the right words, but there's a case mismatch. So the answer is no. Uh, function description, complete the check magazine function in the editor below. It must print yes if the note can be formed using the magazine or no. Ch uh, check magazine has the following parameters, magazine, an array of strings, each a word in the magazine, and note, a, an array of strings, each a word in the ransom note. So this whole section here is just kind of helping us out the best they can. So instead of having to worry about any kind of manipulation of the words, which would then make this, I believe, an MP problem, uh, or even the case sensitivity, uh, which would make this a little bit more complicated because then we'd have to ch check for case uh, sensitive or the cases of each uh, each word and string and any permutation that that could uh, create. Like if they had random capitalization in the middle word, this makes it where we can just do a direct string to string comparison to see if that word is in our uh, hash table. Or in this case, I think we're going to use a map. Uh, and if that's not fast enough, we'll try to use an unordered map. But I think we can use a map for this implementation. We'll see. So let's go ahead and start coding. Um, so basically, the idea is we're going to want to create a string repository, so to speak. Um, and this is going to be our map part of this. So we're going to say std map. Uh, and we want this to be a type with where the keys are strings to, oops, std string, oh my gosh, and uh, integer. So the idea is we have a string for our key, and this would be the word that we are placing, the word that we're finding in our magazine, and we're placing it in here. And then the second, the second letter is a was an integer, and that's the number of occurrences of this word. So let's say there's like they want to write a ransom letter with a million entries of the letter A the string uh, and this would then be going through there, see that these are all A's, we have that many A's in the magazine, uh, and then we can check it. So we want the total number of them because we can't use the same cutout letter twice, of course. So we're gonna just call this our string repo because it is a repository of strings. Next, we're going to populate the string repo. So we need to get all the words we can work with. So for that, we're gonna use a for each loop for uh, std string, uh, we'll just call it s because I'm creative like that. Uh, std string s in, we'll go through the magazine. Now it's important that we go through the magazine and build the repo from the magazine because uh, we need to have, the magazine needs to be a superset of the strings in note. If we were to just make a dictionary with our note, then that would not be inclusive enough to, like we wouldn't be able to go back and test uh, based on the magazine. It would make it to where it is a lot harder to think about so we're just going to go through, create a repository with all of the letters we have access, or all the words we have access to from this magazine, and then compare that to the note and see if we can uh, contain the note within our magazine. So we're going to just check first if, um, I believe the syntax is string 
repo dot find s. Um, and if it is not found in this map, then it's going to return the end of string repo. So it'll be string repo dot end like that. Um, that's just the C way of finding stuff in a map. Um, so if it is not found in here yet, then we are going to, oh, no, sorry. If it is found in here, then it's going to not return, it's gonna return something other than that. Then we can just simply uh, index into the repo with the key, which is S in this case. And we're going to say that our int old val is equal to whatever this returns. And then we're going to say string repo sub s is now equal to the old val plus one. So that's what we want to hold there at that key. We want that to point to that value now instead. Otherwise, uh, it was never there to begin with. So if we have a new letter that we want to add into, or a new word that we want to add into this repo, we just simply index with this new key that didn't already exist and set this equal to one. And that should be all we need to do for setting up our uh, word, our string repo here. Uh, so now that we have our repo, uh, we need to check to see what, or can we make the note? So for this, we're gonna say for std string uh, s, again, because I'm very creative like that. So for every string in note, we're gonna check to see if this is in the string repo. So we're gonna say string repo dot find s. So if this is equal to string repo dot end, or if we're out of it, if we've already used all of our instances of this word, so string repo sub s uh, is equal to zero, then we cannot make this ransom note. So we'll do std, uh, sout, see out, um, no, and l, or std, and l, semicolon, and return. So we wanna bounce out. Otherwise, so we'll say else, that means it did find it. So the word is in our string repo. And that means that uh, we have more than zero. So we have at least one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say int old val is equal to string repo sub s. And then we're going to say string repo sub s is now equal to the old val minus one. And there you go. So that should be decrementing it until it hits zero. Once, the, uh, once we've used up all the cases of that word, then we'd go into the statement and say no. If we make it out of this for loop, we all good. And we can say std c out. Yes. And let's run our code, check for all the mistakes I just made. And we passed. So now the question is, is there gonna be an example that we need the unordered map instead of just a standard map? We'll find out. And we did not need an unordered map. Now, if we did need an unordered map, uh, I believe all the same syntax would still apply. I think we just hit unordered, so that, unordered map like that, I think. And I think everything else literally stays the same. This should speed up though a little bit. Um, whoops, let's see here, run code.
yeah. That, so if we wanted to use an unordered map, which is kind of like the more traditional hash map, you can see it ran a little bit faster on the test cases than the previous time. Uh, you could just swap in unordered map, and this is an actual hash table uh, that we use here, or a hash map that we use there, I mean. Um, so if you want to do that, you can. Uh, to solve it, you can do it with either ordered or unordered maps. Uh, C++ doesn't care. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if it was, please leave a thumbs up in on this video. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain this one very well, because I feel like I did rush through this solution a little bit faster, but I think it is a little bit more straightforward. It's just about knowing uh, map syntax uh, and then solving the problem with that. Um, so if this was something that you didn't understand and I need to explain something a little bit further, uh, please ask the question. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you like this content and you want to see me continue going through this interview preparation kit, I'm going to be going through dictionaries and hash maps for the next four videos. Uh, so go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.